coming to yak. So back was bacterial artificial chromosome, yak and uh, East artificial chromosomes. Okay, yaks are genetically engineered chromosomes derived from the DNA of the yeast, that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is then ligated into a bacterial plasmid. अब back इधर नहीं दे रहते थे from E. coli F. factor plasmid, right? So yak is got from yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and it is then joined to a bacterial plasmid. So it's actually kind of a hybrid. Okay, so they are hybrids of bacterial plasmid DNA and yeast DNA. Uh, so back layer we can insert maximum up to 300 kb, but yak layer you can insert larger fragments, from, uh, starting from 100 kb to 3000 kilobase. Okay, so uh, yak and back layer first difference you can see one is one is from bacteria E. coli, other one is a hybrid between yeast and bacterial plasmid. Second difference is the size. Okay, back layer you can insert up to 300 kb length of DNA. In yak, you can insert up from 100 to 3,000 kb large fragments. Yaks are useful for physical mapping of complex genomes and for the cloning of large genes. Next, so this you can see a typical yak over here, yak vector. So first described in 1983, back was studied in 1990s. Okay, it came later. So in 1983 by Murray and Zostad. Yak vectors have the following elements. Yes, in a lot of we'll see. It has two origin of replications. Okay, it has one E. coli and east origin of replication here. Why? Why two origin of replication? Because it is a hybrid, right? It is a hybrid of bacterial plasmid and an yeast plasmid. So both of their origin of replication will be present here. Then elements of eukaryotic yeast chromosome that is centromere and telomere regions. Centromere and telomere regions. Selection markers for both the host. Okay, uh, so you have one selection marker, ampicillin resistance, uh, that is your antibiotic resistance. Then you have marker A and marker B. Recognition site for the two restriction enzyme, eco R1 and BAM H1. So these are the restriction sites. So uh, then elements of eukaryotic yeast chromosome, that is centromere and telomere regions. Centromere and telomere regions. Selection markers for both the host. Okay, uh, so you have one selection marker, ampicillin resistance, uh, that is your antibiotic resistance. Then you have marker A and marker B. Recognition site for the two restriction enzyme, eco R1 and BAM H1. So these are the restriction sites. So uh, guys, please forgive me. I had first mentioned this was the origin. This was the restriction site. Okay, again, I am correcting myself. Eco R1 restriction site, BAM H1 restriction site. Two restriction sites will be there in this. Okay. Uh, this is again another uh, representation for you to understand. ORI will be the origin of replication. Now, what are the uses of these? Centromere uh, region will be there, I had told now. What does it do? It helps segregate yak evenly between daughter cells. So in back you had par genes, right? Par which helped to segregate the back into daughter cells. In yak you have centromere region that is cell which will help to segregate. Telomere region that is tell this telomere region needed for stability and proper replication of yak. This will help in the replication of yak. Then X and Y allow for selection of transformed cells. These are your X and Y selectable markers. So in back you had the lag Z gene as a selectable marker. In east you will have the X and Y. It will be I will be talking about it later. Also you will have a eco R1 uh, restriction site where you will have the cloning site. This is where your restriction enzyme will cut and insert the foreign DNA. So you might ask why do you need the BAM H1 sites? Well. Um, I'll take it in the next class. Okay, basically you have a circular yak. By after uh, cloning, it becomes a linear yak. Okay, you can see a linear molecule over here. The BAM H1 will cut over here and here. So you will have the telomeric ends over here, and it will become a straight or linear yak. So BAM H1 digestion creates linear chromosome with telomeric ends. You can see over here. Telomere helps to uh, proper Uh, helps in proper replication of yak. Okay, this damage with this portion is removed. It is cut over here. The components required for replication or segregation of natural yeast chromosomes have been combined with E. coli plasmid DNA. We have established that it's a hybrid. 
acts are grown in the yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae so contain selectable markers which are suitable for the host system so in back it has a laxer gene it is grown in e coli or bacteria right so it has a, a selectable marker laxer gene which is uh, which will help us to select the e coli whichever has been transformed likewise in yaks that is the yeast artificial chromosome you will have a selectable mark a marker specifically to be grown in yeast okay so what is that selectable marker so rather than an antibiotic selection yeast selectable markers enable growth of transformant on selective media lacking specific nutrients that is non transformants are unable to grow so enna aguna you have your yak right it will have a particular gene which will manufacture a particular nutrient so you grow your yeast cells in a media which is devoid of some particular nutrient so whichever yak cells do not have your uh, sorry whichever yeast cells do not have your yak vectors will not be able to produce that enzyme or will not be able to produce that particular nutrient and it will not be able to grow in the media but whichever yeast cells has taken up the yak it will have yak which will replicate which will also produce your uh, nutrient specific nutrient so it will be able to grow in that media this yeast cell will be able to grow in that media okay i'll explain it in the next slide so the yeast strains that are used are oxotropic that means they are unable to make a specific compound whichever yak yeast cells you are using one specific compound it will not be able to make on its own that chromosomal dna of yak uh, yeast cell will not be able to make it so that is called oxotropic okay remember this term it might be used somewhere for example they have used the example of tryptophan okay for example tryptophan 1 that is trip 1 mutants can't make tryptophan just understand this if you have something called trip 1 mutants that means they cannot produce tryptophan so they can only grow on media that is supp supplemented with tryptophan so only if you put tryptophan in the media then these trip 1 uh, mutants can grow okay now if the mutant strain is transformed with yak containing an intact trip 1 gene then this will compensate for the inactive gene or complement it and the transfected cell is able to grow on media lacking tryptophan i think it is clear right so if your e cell mutant strain that is without the tryptophan gene is combined with this yak which has a tryptophan gene what will happen even if you put this yeast in a media without tryptophan it will be able to grow with the help of this yak plasmid okay so a typical yeast consists of centromere region and uh, for chromosome segregation during cell division telomere and origin of replication so that is about yak now what is a yak library so cloning human genomic dna into a yak genomic dna is partially digested by restriction enzyme ecor1 very large dna fragments are obtained the yak is digested by two restriction uh, restriction enzyme ecor1 and bamh1 so those two elements recombine at the ecor1 sites and are covalently linked by the dna ligase a recombinant yak vector an it artificial uh sorry an yeast artificial chromosome with genomic dna in, inserted is produced recombinant yak vector means it is a yak with dna inserted this vector can be used to infect e cells and generate an unlimited number of copies so i have read it out let's look at it into by using diagrams so you have your uh, chromosome of interest you have your yak vector here you will cut it with eco r1 your genome of interest you are going to cut it with eco r1 so it will be cut at multiple sites okay and you will get large chromosomal fragments okay so you have partial digestion happening over large chromosomal uh, fragments with sticky ends okay you have your yak vector here you will cut over here with eco r1 so this will have the same same sticky ends as these fragments plus you will cut over here with bam h1 so that it becomes a linear molecule okay so you restrict or digest it with eco r1 eco r1 does the cut over here and bam h1 does the cut over here so you will get two pieces of you are understanding right one is cut over here so it opens up another cut some oops sorry so another cuts are made over here so you get two different pieces <laughs> i was trying to point with my finger on the slide okay i'll point with the pointer okay sorry for that so you'll get 
one piece of uh, vector over here another piece of separate vector over here that is what these two pieces are shown okay next what will happen these two you're going to combine in the presence of dna ligase okay when dna ligase comes these are the sticky ends for eco r1 it will come and join in between so one piece will join on this end another piece will come and join on this end so you get a linear recombinant yak okay you get a linear so this was initially a circle you break it down and you get a linear molecule okay um then you do the transformation transformation is nothing but you're going to insert this yak into e cells okay uh, into multiple e cells and that will form a clone and you will get the yeast artificial chromosome library another diagram to show this you have your uh, linear uh, yeast artificial chromosome you're doing eco r1 digestion you get the two pieces you insert or ligate the dna of interest that comes and joins in between then you what you do is you take a yeast cell you remove its cell wall that means it becomes kind of competent you can say what will happen this will get inserted into the yeast cell then this will get incorporated and one you have done the selection with tryptophan or any other selectable media these yeast cells with the clone will be replicated and used as a clone another diagram where if you want a more clear picture you can look at this one also it's the same thing okay same thing restriction with eco r1 and bam